beautiful day for a bushwhack. I'm out here in the Chattahoochee National Forest, up near the Hammond Gap area. And I am headed that way. There's an old logging trail in there somewhere. It goes out that spur, I don't know, maybe half a kilometer. And then it comes back down, runs along the edge of this spur, and then ends down there in that draw. And that's where I'm gonna end up camping. There's supposedly water out there too, I hope so. But I came up from that way. Wife just dropped me off. And the Pinhoti Trail is about a mile up that way. So I'm going to get my backpack on and we're going to go see what we can find. Okay, so I found the remnants of the old logging road. As you can see, it's uh, grown up significantly. A lot of briars. Usually up in these higher elevations, you get a lot of briars. So I'm trying to find me a way through that crap. Let's see. This is why I don't do ultra light gear, at least on my outerwear stuff, because it wouldn't survive bushwhacking. I can understand it when you're doing a, something like the Appalachian Trail and you're trying to pack on as many miles as you can, but it's not gonna work out here in this stuff. It'll get ripped to shreds. But the stuff that's on the inside of my pack, I like to be as light as possible. All right, I made it out of the blackberry bushes. I had to come back down a little bit lower in elevation. Right around here to avoid the rest of them. Those things are hell to get through. So I found a little clearing down a little bit lower. And I'm going to follow it, follow along this uh, spur and try to get to where I'm going to, I want to go to. The old logging road's just right up there somewhere, so I'm just going to follow along that way. As a matter of fact, looks like the logging road comes right down through here. That's convenient. Yeah, because that wasn't any fun. You get yourself tangled up in those things and it's hard to get out. Okay, so I've reached my fork in the road. My insertion point was right here. And I followed this old logging road down the spur until it started to go back up in elevation right here. Which is right there. And I came from that way on the logging road. Now, I'm gonna fork off this way. Let's see if I get closer. And it's supposed to go along this steep contour line right here. And then right in there is gonna be about where I camp. It's never usually where I camp, it's somewhere else, but at least it gives me a starting point. But just to give you an idea, Like I said, I came from that way, down the old logging road, 
I hit my junction point here. Looks like it continues that way. And then continues this way. And this is the way I'm going to go down. Looks like it kind of goes off that way somewhere. I don't know. I got to find it. But it looks like young trees. I will see. It's pretty deep down in there. I think I'm gonna have fun in the morning, come back, back up that. Oh well, it's time to get this show on the road. Well, we found the road here. Old logging road. Still in pretty good shape. Not bad at all. The other trick with this uh, bushwhacking is to make it more efficient as possible. Not as hard as possible. So anytime you can find an old road, game trails, anything like that, take advantage of it. You want to make things as easy as possible. And sometimes the shortest path isn't the most efficient path. Taking the long way around will end up saving you a lot of energy. And since you have to carry everything you eat with you, saving as much energy as possible is key. So it may look stupid to come all the way down this way and all the way down here and all the way this way instead of just coming down that way. But I would have used up more energy just taking the short path going down that stoke sleeps. Shit, let me try that again. That steep slope. Then just taking the long way around. Okay different plans now came from that way and there was no water in that stream and the places there were water it would be about impossible to get to without chopping with a machete and I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go up that way back to where I guess backtrack and see if I can't find a gentler slope to where there is water but I can't go this way as you can see it's very steep there and I don't want to bust my butt so we're gonna head that way and see what we can find if not I can go always go back over the spur and go to an old campsite that I found before and I know there's water down there so here we go. All right, so I finally found water. It's an uneasy feeling when uh, you can't find water and you're dehydrated. But I'm usually pretty good at finding water, so I wasn't worried yet. The trick is to not to panic especially when you're getting dehydrated you start making stupid decisions but I had to come from over that spur right there and kind of just do some switchbacks that thing is steep as hell and made my way down here But I was looking at my map, and it looks like there's going to be some relatively flat ground down that way. So I'm going to throw my backpack on, and we're going to head that way. Come on, buddy.
Okay, I made it to my campsite. Pretty nice flat area. Got me two tall spurs. One right there. One right there. That should protect me from the wind. I'm gonna hang my hammock up between that tree and that tree. Got me a good sitting log. Got my phone charging. And over here, I have a nice source of water. So I'm all set. Everything came together. So now me and Pinto is going to have some lunch. I'll set up the hammock. Take a nap. Maybe till about 3 o'clock. Might go exploring. Might not. I did a lot of exploring trying to find water. But like I said, I might take me a nap at 3 o'clock. Like Jerry Garcia said, I don't really know, don't really care. I'm in no hurry to do anything. But it's absolutely beautiful out here. I had my nap. Feel a lot better. I'm gonna go out here and see what's around the spur. Maybe I can find me another campsite for another time. Or just find some good pictures. Doesn't matter to me. I could make a good little camping area next time I want to come out here. I got some good water. Good camping area up in here. But let's see. It's getting 322, 3.30. I think I'm gonna have to head on back. Take me an hour to get back to campsite. If that. But get back and get ready to eat some dinner. It was a good little, uh, good little hike. Come on, Pinto. Let's head back. Something is trying to pop up out of there. I don't know what it is, but there it goes. about to cook me up some dinner got one of these mountain house spicy southwest style skillet see it's got potatoes shredded beef black beans green chilies and vegetables 
I usually dehydrate my own food, but I don't know when I'm gonna get to come out again with it being summer and getting so hot. So I figured I'd uh, indulge myself. I got me a breakfast skillet for in the morning. I'm gonna try out. I got me one of these little lightweight cooking stoves that I'm gonna uh, use summer and springtime. I really don't need a fire in the summer or spring. I'll have one for uh, keep bugs away, a little small smoky fire, but that's about it. But this thing's pretty light. Just screws onto this thing, a little fuel canister. Turn the gas on. Set the water on. See how long it takes it to boil there. All right, I'm going to eat this goodness right here. And I'm going to go to bed. A long day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Let's see, it's 6.30. Getting my water heated up for my breakfast. Which is going to be... This breakfast skillet with shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs, pork sausage, peppers, and onions. Sounds good. Now we're going to eat breakfast and pack up and head on out. Get Jessica to meet us at the Forest Service Road. Hey, you wow, that was a bitch. It wouldn't be so bad, it's just so humid. Did you hear my whistle when I blew it? Came in handy, didn't it? Yeah. How loud was it? Pretty loud. Lord have mercy, it's right there. <laughs> so close yet so far away. I wouldn't be so tired, but when I went that way, and I went all the way to the draw, like I told you I was going. No water. <laughs> I walked back up and I seen there was what, cause you know, sometimes I'll go underground. Right. And I seen what was coming back up ground, but the slope was like that. And, uh, and you know, I kept going up, so it kept getting higher and higher. It's like, well. So I got sat down and looked at my map and I said, well, this thing connects back to this road right this old road right here so i went and connected to it and then came back down i was going to go all the way up the road and then insert where i uh first went last time but i was out of water i was thirsty and i just i basically just butt slid down the hill <laughs> yeah. slid all the way down to the creek good lord well, this payoff was definitely worth it. 